Hey there, my name is Kelly Dale with Off the Beaded Path, and this is your Must Know Monday for Monday, August 20th, 2018. Today, I want to show you how to use the Artistic Wire Coiling Gizmo Tool. Um, this one is really, really neat. This is the Deluxe Coiling Gizmo. So what that means is normally ones that you buy like in a, a regular hobby store are going to have only one or two little dowels that you can use for your wire wrapping. This kit actually comes with five different sizes and they're pretty substantial different sizes. So you can see I have three pretty large different sizes here and then I have two smaller ones. These are going to be really, really great to make your own jump rings, but they also work really, really well to make your own fun beaded bead and wire wrap designs. And this little tool is super easy to use and it's really affordable. I think we sell them for um, $10.95 maybe for the, the kit. And then, so besides that, all you would need would be a really good pair of cutters. You're gonna need wire. Um, for my sample today, I'm gonna to be using 22 gauge artistic wire. You can use any gauge wire that you like. I'm also gonna show you the aluminum wire, me doing this on aluminum wire, and I'm gonna be showing you the new artistic wire artsy wire. So you can use any sort of wire. And like I said, this is a super, super easy tool to use. Even if you don't have a lot of dexterity in your hands to actually wire wrap, um, then I think you'll actually really like this tool. Um, the camera view is gonna be a little bit different today just because I can't really put the camera behind me to show you this because the tool is actually gonna be clamped to in front of me to the table. So I'm gonna get the best camera view that I can possibly get for you to show you how to use this tool. Now be sure to stay tuned to the end of this video because I'm announcing the winner from last week's video. I'm announcing the winner for the uh, DVD, the Carrie Bogart DVD on the coiling um, tool. So be sure to stay tuned again at the end of this video. Okay, so your tool, and this is what the little winders are going to look like. You see it's got a little crank on it, and this is what's going to help us be able to turn the wire. The size little tool that you use is going to determine the size of the coil that you get. So this one here is made using this smallest size coil or the smallest size tool. And this is the 22 gauge wire. So you can see it makes a very, very tiny coil. The next size up is gonna make one that's a little bit bigger. Okay, so this was the smallest one. This is the next size up. I'm gonna be using this one a lot. And then you can see they get even bigger depending on what size of these little tools that you use. What these coils allow you to do is to be able to make jump rings or make some fun little beaded beads like this that can actually turn into really, really pretty pieces of jewelry. So you can see that you got lots of options with this little fun tool. Okay, so this is the tool itself. And you can't see it, but it has one, two, three, four different size holes here on the side. So that your biggest dowel would fit in the largest and your smaller dowels are going to fit in your smaller holes, okay? So there's different sizes that you can use here. This tool is very, very, very easy to use and I'm gonna show you just how easy. So I'm gonna take my little dowel here and I'm gonna leave the wire on my spool that I'm gonna be using. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this wire and there is a little section here that's kind of open on your little crank tool. So I'll take this wire and just kind of wrap it a little bit around this little loop here in my crank wire. I'm gonna put the wire down in my lap and I'm gonna put this tool in this very bottom hole. Now, I'm going to hold my thumb down here against the, the tool with it holding the wire. And then, 
make sure it stays in there. Get it going here. Okay, then we're going to start wrapping the wire. Okay, and you can see I'm going to keep the wire all the way up against this little tool here. This helps to hold it tight. And you can see as I'm just turning this little crank, it's making my coils. I'm not really having to do anything but turn the crank. So there's a couple of things you want to happen. Number one is if you start to see, like here, where I am getting the wire a little bit um, further away, it's not so nice like this. I can take and I can push those coils up against this little piece here, and then that's gonna push those coils together. You wanna make sure that each little coil that you make goes right next to the coil um, you just finished. You don't want it to coil on top of each other, okay? So you can just keep on, keep on, keep on doing this until you reach the length that you want. It's really, really easy. You can see how fast I'm going on this little tool. This is not being sped up. I'm just doing this here. And again, if your coils, if you feel like they're getting a little separated, just take and push that tool back in. Um, I really like if I'm doing a lot of coils like this where I can cut them in pieces. I like to use, leave the wire on the spool, but you can cut it off the spool. It's completely up to you. I just think it's easier this way. Okay, so you can see that my coil or my, my little dowel over here is getting shorter. And so I'm just going to keep doing this until I run out of dowel. Now, when you purchase this little coiling tool, the clamp is already attached. Um, so that's really great that you don't actually have to purchase it extra or attach it yourself. It's already done. Okay, so now I can slide this out. And whoop, if I so choose to, I can take and I can continue to coil this. Okay, and all that I would be doing would be just holding the wire tightly in my hand and then coiling. It's completely up to you. I'm not the greatest at the getting the coil nice and tight like it was. Um, so I just will do a little bit. And then if I want to, I can take and I can put it back in there and I can press those coils nice. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna trim this wire. So here is what I have right now. I'm going to come to this other end over here and I'm going to trim this wire as well. So you can see what happens now is I have this little piece of wire. It should slide off very easily. If it doesn't, you can take each end and twist to kind of unlock it. But I slid it off and now you can see that I have this awesome coil that now I can cut or do whatever I want to with. So let me get another piece of wire. So this is going to be an 18 gauge just silver wire and I want to show you just something fun that you could do with this um, to make like one of these little spiral beaded beads. So I can take this wire that I just finished and I can cut it into sections. So I'm actually just going to take I'm going to bend it in half and cut it okay. and then just kind of measure it so that I have two equal lengths like this. Now I'm going to take that same one I was just using. I'm going to wrap a little bit of this wire around. Actually, I'll, let me stop and grab a piece that's a little bit longer than this. Okay, so I've cut two equal lengths of pieces of wire, of this silver wire. And again, I'm just going to take it. I'm going to um, wrap it here around this piece here. And on the other end of my wire, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to thread on the coil that I just made. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to put it again in that bottom hole and I'm going to start the wire coiling. 
Okay, so I'm just going to start, maybe do like four little coils. Then I'm going to slide this up and then I'm going to start to coil again. And I'm pushing the coil up with my thumb as I work. So that way all my coils are going to be on there. And again, if it, you can push it up just like I did. Okay, and then once I've used that coil up, I can take now and I can do some more. Trim that. Then I would trim this side, slide it off, and now I have a beaded bead. And I could even take this and I could pull this out a little bit if I wanted to. I can curl it in, whatever you want to do. But this would just show you how you can make one of these really simple beaded beads using your coiled wire and your regular wire. So it's really, really easy to do these. And you can do these in colors, you can do them in different lengths, whatever you wanna do. So I'll show you one more time using that same thing. And just let me get my wire off here. There we go. So again, I'm just gonna run my wire through. Okay. I'm gonna put my coil on the other end. Put it through the bottom hole here. And then I'm going to start my coil. Now, I want to try to do the same amount of coils that I did on this one. So I'm going to do that amount. Then I'm going to push up the coil. And then as I start to wrap, you just want to keep it pushed up the entire time against where you're working. Okay. And then I'm going to do a few more coils. Slide it off. And then I'm going to trim this wire and then trim the wire up here. So when you pull it off, now you have your two wires. Now you can take and you can trim these wires here or these little coils here to make them even length so that you will have something that's gonna be the same exact size, just like I've done these silver ones and these fun red ones here. So along with those really easy beaded beads, another thing you can make is say like a bracelet with your coils, just something really simple. So to do that, I'm gonna be using the 14 gauge artsy wire by Beadalon. Now this is some brand new wire. You can see that there's some little, these are crimps kind of hanging out in the package. Right now, as of the date of this video, they only have, I think it's four or five colors of this artsy wire. It's really fun to work with um, because it is um, really cool artsy colored wire. But I will caution you on this, what we have found here at the store. Upon playing with it, the color on your, like your actual wire, is pretty much permanent. It's like your, um, your regular artistic wire. Um, so you don't really have to worry about the color coming off or anything like that. The crimps, on the other hand, are a totally different story. They may have perfected the wire, but they haven't perfected the crimps yet. The crimps have a copper uh, inside to them, and I wore mine, I made a couple of bangles, and I wore mine for one day, and the copper was already showing through on the crimp. So um, they make artistic wire silver crimps like this, okay? And these actually work on this artsy wire as well. Basically what they're made to do, they're made to connect two ends of the wire. So if you're doing a, a wire work design, or like I wanna show you today, is a really simple bangle that you can do using those crimps and our coiling tool, okay? So basically, 
you have your artsy wire. It comes rolled like this, but um, when you unroll it, it's really, really pliable. Um, and so it's bent very easily. But they have a new tool. This is a wire straightening tool that Beadalon has come out with. It's kind of weird looking, but it works. So basically what you do is you put the wire here in the center and you press it together and you pull. Okay, so I am putting the wire right in between these coils and then I'm gonna hold it really tight and I'm gonna pull that wire through so that you can see now I have nice straight wire to work with. Another fun tool that they have is their wire bending tool. Um, the one from Beadalon that I love, I actually let a customer borrow, so I'm having to use my old ones. Um, but these are curved tools that what happens is when you put your wire into the tool and you press it, it gives the wire a curved effect. So you can just continue to keep running your wire through this little tool, and what it does is it gives it a fun, curved effect that you can make a bracelet out of. Okay, You want to be careful, especially if, um, if your tool doesn't have the silicone on the inside of it to help um, um, for the scratching on your wire. Okay, So you can make a cool coil like this. So I've already done one and I've cut it to the size that I know I'm going to need and I have cut it flush here so that they're kind of against each other. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna use my coiled wire that I did, and I'm going to put, roll that coiled wire onto my artsy wire. Okay, so I know for me, because I have a larger size wrist, unless I put another coil on here, it's not gonna be completely 100% all the way around, and that's fine for me because it's gonna be on the bottom of my bracelet. But I mainly wanna show you how to use these cool crimps. So to use the crimps, you have to have a special pair of crimpers called a Mighty Crimper. So you can see here, it has one little tool, tooth, okay? So when you close it, instead of being like a regular crimp plier that has our two holes, this one only has one hole with one tooth, okay? So you take your crimp, and actually I'll flip it around here so that you can see it. <laughs> because I knew that some of you were having a fit because I had so much wire showing, I went ahead and I cut the coil in half and I put on three large hole gemstones. So now I'm ready to do the crimp. So I'm going to slide the crimp onto one side of my wire. Now this is where you have to pay attention because the tooth, which is gonna be this part right here of your crimps, need to go to the inside. Okay, so I'm going to put it into the hole here where the little hole is, you can see here. And now I'm gonna take and I'm going to press it. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna make an indention here to the inside, but then on the outside, it's still gonna look okay. So now I'm gonna take and I'm gonna slide this other piece into the crimp until it kind of meets here. And then I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna put it inside this little hole here. I'm gonna take and I'm going to press that again so that now I have a bangle type bracelet that I can use um, because this is not coming apart and then I can take it and bend it since our wrists are more of an oval than a circle. I can take and kind of bend that into more of an oval shape so that now I have a bangle using my coiled wire. And you can also do that with the bigger ones. So you can also use your coils to do jump rings. And basically what you would want to do is you would do one ring at a time and you would just go through and cut each one. Now these aren't, this is not the exact right cutter you would want. You would want a good pair of um, complete flush cutters to be able to do this um, because what happens when you cut with this wire, you're gonna still get a really pretty jump ring like this, but you're gonna get one side that's perfectly flat and another side that kind of comes to a point. But you can use your coils to also make jump rings. 
So I hope you enjoyed getting to see just a little sample of what you can actually make with this wire coiling tool. One of the greatest things to do and that you can do for yourself is to go to Google and type in wire coiling jewelry or wire wire coil jewelry and um, once you do your Google search just click on images because people have made some absolute gorgeous jewelry using this coiling tool. Now in last week's video I did tell you that we would be doing a giveaway for this wire coiling DVD by Kelly Bogert and I am excited to tell you that Andrea Gibson is the winner of this DVD. I put all the names in an itemizer and her name was chosen so um, or a randomizer sorry so her name was chosen so congrats Andrea um, I have already contacted you via YouTube so if you will just send me your mailing address and we'll get this sent out to you um, very soon and also if you want to learn how to really do good wire coiling and some really cool projects I highly recommend this DVD this is by the same company that puts out um, beadwork magazine and you can purchase this on their website it's F and W Media um, is who puts this out and it's a really really good DVD so I again I hope that you enjoyed this project and just please note that any kits or products talked about in this video are sold on a temporary basis colors and kits are said to change at any time please be advised that any promotion or sale is date specific and may not be available to you at the time that you watch this video thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again next time bye bye mm -hmm.